It is a big box kind of day. Don't go away. Hello everybody and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada and today is a big box day. We're opening this giant box and you can see we're downstairs like I tend to do when I'm opening the bigger things up so that uh, I have a little more elbow room. This means you get a chance to see the dogs. I don't know if you can see Fiona down here. Um, I kind of like doing these ones because they're a little more informal. It's a little more of a glimpse uh, into who I am and the world I live in. Um, so I, I, I kind of dig doing these particular videos. And I especially dig opening this up because something very cool is inside of here. So listen, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to open this thing up. And I'll explain some things as I'm doing it so we're doubling up, okay? So let's get this sucker open. So I'm a space race baby, baby boomer, whatever you want to call us. Uh, I was born at the beginning of the 60s, 1961. Uh, okay, birthday's coming up this month. So I'll be 61 years old. I'll be the same number of years of, of age as the year I was born. So, um, in, in my day, there was no such thing as toxic masculinity. Uh, it was okay to be raised as a boy and do boy things, and it was okay to be a girl and do girl things. Uh, and I, I don't remember personally anybody excluding anybody from anything. But, uh, you know, I was a boy and I played with boy things, boy world, and uh, we played war. We played war a lot. I think I've talked about it before. We played war a lot. It was one of my favorite things to do because it involved running around. It involved your friends and, and make-believe and all this other stuff. And uh, personally, I think I came out all right. I don't think it hurt me at all. Um, but it's a different world today, and the toy like this, we probably can't have it. All right. You know, when I bought this, check this out. Okay, this is how cool this guy is. When I bought this, uh, the guy was also selling some copies of Mad Magazine, and I said, well, if you want to throw some of those in with the, this, you could do that, and I'd be happy. And sure enough, he threw in two copies. Here's July 73 and uh, March 89. How cool is that? Thank you uh, to my seller for that coolness. But when you played war, you used what you had. We would use smoke bombs. Boy, he packed this really well. We would use smoke bombs. And this was sold to me by Back in Time Comics and Toys. And you can find him on eBay. He is out of uh, Liberty, Missouri. Uh, so you, you can find him on Instagram, Facebook, and eBay. And uh, anyhow, what I was saying is that... Um, you used whatever you had, but you always wanted to have some kind of a real weapon if you could muster that up. And this, my friends, is the penultimate weapon for boys playing war when I was a kid. And no, I never had one of these. This is the Johnny Seven. Sorry there, Fiona. I just dropped that box right on Fiona. Okay, so there it is. The, the Johnny 7 OMA, or One Man Army. No batteries needed. It has a good nade launcher, armor-piercing shells, anti-tank rocket, retractable bipod, repeating rifle, automatic pistol, and a Tommy gun. Seven different things, and that's why it was called the Johnny 7. 
So yeah, I'm super excited about this. This one's pretty nice. If I remember correctly, he said uh, it's just missing like a few bullets and uh, maybe it looks like it's got most of the parts here. Um, we'll, we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, he said something about the uh, the pistol not shooting the bullets right or something like that. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about restoration later. Okay, so that is the Johnny 7 one-man army. Man, look at that. Okay, so until I get a chance to really go through this, I can't tell you what works and what doesn't. And I got to be honest, I don't know how any of it works. Okay, so let's see here. Let's, uh, let's move, move the box out of the way. I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to actually move this a little bit closer. And I'm going to move this a little bit closer. So here it is. Johnny 7 OMA. Okay, you got the pistol release, Tommy gun fire, grenade release, Tommy gun load, uh, rifle bolt, rifle trigger, armor piercing shell fire. Okay. Let's, uh, let's flip it over. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. What do we got on this side? Um, it looks like all the gadgetry is on the user's right side. But you got the front and rear sights. Here's the, the tripod for it. Oh, here's a, okay. Uh, I don't, okay, that's just part of the, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, when you have the tripod out, it will sit up on that, okay, like a, like the butt. That's a permanent thing out there. All right, so let's flip it over again here since all the, the goodness is on this side. Okay, so there's a, some sort of a firing thing. And I'm going to take a quick look at the box here. Let's bring that up. Okay. There's nothing on the back as far as instructions. So there's really no instructions here. And so I'm going to have to find out how all this works. Now what I do know is I know that this pops up to launch grenades. Okay. I don't know how it works, and I don't want to do anything like that crazy. Oh, okay, that apparently just is a friction fit, and it snaps down and opens, and, and there you have it. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And then, of course, you can... Okay, so that's pretty neat. Okay, and then that just folds back up. Um, all right, let's, let's see what we can do. Grenade release. Okay, so this must be... Oh, I see. Oh, see. I see. Okay. So, I, I don't know how you load this. I'm afraid. But once you've got a grenade in there, if you push this button, that will release the hand grenade, okay? Okay, now the pistol is kind of loosey-goosey in there. Oh, I see. Okay, here's, there's a little, a couple little problems with it. So there's a little break right back here. And that's why the pistol is a little bit jinkity. Nothing I can't fix. Okay, so if we do the pistol release, Okay, there's the pistol release. So it just comes out of there. I don't know what that is. Okay, so here's the Johnny 7 pistol. And yes, it's a cap gun. So I think it's a cap gun. 
Yeah, it is. It's a... It's, uh, oh, I, I need to get me some rolls of caps. So the caps go on here, and then this closes up. I, I don't know the feed. Oh, I, I see. Okay, you put the, the caps in through here, and then they go through here and up out here. So I need some caps, and then when you pull the trigger, it uh, fires the caps and feeds them out. Oh, the whole trigger comes out and everything. So this is the trigger. I didn't even notice that. So we can actually maybe see it in action. Okay, yeah, see, so there's the hammer. And here's the part that feeds the caps forward, okay? So it feeds the cap forward that while raising the hammer, and bam, it slams down. Feed, slam, feed, slam, feed, slam. Okay. And there, there you have the pistol. Some sort of little decoration. A little, little bit of damage right there. Nothing, a little melted, actually. Kids smoking in the boys' room, apparently. All right. So now, apparently... To put this back in, okay, uh, that rod is for some other part. You just stick it in there, oh, and it, see, it just clicks in, all right? Oh, it catches right back here. So you put the front in here. Now, while we're doing this, I'm sorry if you disagree with me. Please don't hate me or unsubscribe or anything. I, I respect your right to your opinion. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with boys playing war. Uh, what they're really playing isn't about killing and death and war. They're playing heroes. Um, we were fighting Nazis in my day. Um, you know, and that that's just how it was. You know, we, we respected the military and, uh, you know, it was it was a fun thing to do. We were being the hero, and you you know you got to run and jump and roll around in the dirt and splash in the mud, and it was just a, a fun time. So, anyhow, okay, there's that. Uh, Tommy gun fire. Okay, and this is Tommy gun load. So you pull this back. Okay. because of that break there. And then we pull this. Oh, how cool was that? Okay, that was pretty cool. And fire. Oh, this is, this is must be what he was talking about, about doesn't always work. Um, there we go. Yeah, it, it seems like if you pull it back too far, it catches badly. So... The trick is to just not pull it back all the way. You'll be fine. Okay, so that works. Uh, what is this? This is the rifle bolt. Okay, I guess that cocks the rifle. No. Uh, I don't know. Uh, no idea. Hey, listen, if you know more about a Johnny 7, see, that's broke pretty good. I'm going to have to definitely do at least some repair to it. See, uh, what we have is we've got, looks like we've got some missing screws. Oh, and I can see that's why it doesn't always work here, because we've got uh, a little problem with the trigger and the parts where they're supposed to catch. So, okay. No problem. No problem. So, definitely going to need a little bit of repair here. Uh, missing some screws. Uh, shouldn't be a big problem for me to fix this. Okay, so there. Now, again, I don't know. Oh. I, 
I don't know. I just don't know. All right. So that'll have to be something I'll have to research and maybe show you in a separate video when I do like it, maybe a store or something. Oh, look at that. You can actually detach the stock by, by sliding it down. So you can take that off. I'm not entirely sure why, but that's going to be handy as heck for any kind of a restoration because this is where all the, the damage is. There's a lot of pins and screws and things like that missing back there that should probably be there. So I'm going to actually just leave that off for now because it just makes it harder to show you. And now let's... uh. Okay, this is... I think this is the, the gun that uses the bullet. Okay, let me show you the accessories. Okay, so here we have it looks like it's got all the parts. <gasps> Look. Instructions. Nice. Nice! And a bag of bullets. That's, that's pretty hard to find one that has all this extra stuff. Okay, so... Uh, grenade launcher on top of the gun elevates by pulling up. Load the grenade by inserting a hole in bottom over rod on launcher pushing straight back and down until it clicks into place. Fire, push, grenade, release button. Bullets. Load into the chamber at the top front of the gun. Oh, right here. Okay, that's where the bullets go. Okay. And that's probably why all of this is not functioning. It probably needs bullets in there. Armor piercing shell. that one okay so I think this is the armor piercing shell this is the anti-tank rocket this is the grenade this must be the anti-bunker rocket all right, so it goes over here. Okay, let's try and launch a grenade, shall we? Okay, so what we do is we take and we just pull this up. And I guess that's supposed to stay in there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we do that. Take the grenade, hopefully it will catch. Shall we slide it into here? Bang. So the, it actually goes in onto that rod there, okay. Oh, it must, it must go this way. Okay, so that, it doesn't go far enough back. And I don't know why. So uh, it's not catching right here where it's supposed to catch. So that's something that's going to have to be looked at. But by goodness, I am not a quitter. We're going to fire something. We're going to shoot something. Okay, so this, I guess, goes in here. Oh, there you have it. That, that was in there. Okay. Okay. 
So I'm going to shoot it first and then we'll do it so you can see it better. Oh, that was fantastic. Okay, let, let me reload that and go get that and we'll, we'll film it so you can see. Okay, that should work right there. I'm going to pop the stock back on it because I think that'll be best for this. Although the darn thing is falling apart because of that broken thing. Okay, so let me get over here. Okay, so you take this and you just kind of press it in like so. And then when you're ready to fire, you go, okay, eat hot lead, you mother of Hirohito. Ah! And there you go. You go, okay. Eat hot lead, you mother of Hirohito. Ah! And there you go. That's all there is to it. Well, now you gotta go get it again. Okay, so I'm going back down the hallway again. And then you just click it back in again. Then if you need to fire the machine gun, you can do that and you can go, okay. And I, yeah, I'm using my hand to hold this back end together. Grenade launcher would have worked had the grenade been able to catch. We don't care, sir. Uh, so let's, let's see what else we can fire. Okay. What else fires? Uh, the I guess the others go into this metal tube. No, I guess they go in, I guess the metal tube must be where the bullets shoot out at. So I guess the bullets come out of there. So let's get a, this anti-tank weapon here, or whatever this was. I think this goes actually right in here. Yeah. And then, okay. I don't know how to fire that. Oh, there it is. There is one trigger on this side, I guess. Hey, hey, that worked good. All right, let's shoot the other thing. Okay. All right. So I have to take this. Okay, so now, We've got, uh, we can, boom, and then we can go over here and go, Kazawi, and then we can go like this, and go, and continue to hold our gun together because this really needs some super fixing here. Um, So here, let me sit this down. We need to talk. Can we talk? Okay, hang on. Let me go get these things because I don't want the dogs to eat them. Okay, so I'm down in the hallway, pick up my rockets. Ugh. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get positioned here. So we can have a chat. All right. Oops, no bear. Squitchy butchy. Okay, I'm gonna put this together while we talk. So, first of all, let me just say this about it. 
these are really soft, okay? They're not going to hurt anybody, so no panic there. I haven't touched the bullet yet. Now, these are pretty solid, okay? I'm just saying. And clearly, I'm going to have to take and resin cast a ton of those, okay? I'm going to have to make some of those. Um, can it hurt you? Let's start there. Can you be hurt by this toy? I guess maybe. Uh, those bullets are a little bit stiff. So it is possible that if you took one to the eye, you could shoot your eye out. Now, I don't think any of these, you know, look, okay, it's not going to hurt you. It doesn't come out with enough velocity, and that's my guess with the bullets, is that, you know, it might get, be like getting poked in the eye with a finger. Uh, it might sting a little bit, but you'll be fine, okay? You know, you're playing war, suck it up, and, and, and go on. So I don't think you can get hurt by it. Um, I think it was a fantastic toy uh, for its day. Um, I honestly don't see any problem with somebody being able to play with this today. That's my personal opinion, but everybody has their own opinion. You know, some people uh, don't want their kids playing with something like this. And frankly, you certainly can't let your kids run up and down the street with something like this these days because somebody will call the police and next thing you know, it'll be a whole big tragic deal. But... Uh, I think it's a fantastic toy. It brings back great memories of playing uh, war with my, my friends. We had such a good time. And, uh, you know, we were being active and we were outside and we were emulating uh, heroic people in our, in our vision. Um, we were fighting the, the enemy and it, it was a good thing. I, I don't think it's a problem. Now, here is the big question. You see, as is, this displays really nicely, okay? I don't really need to do anything other than maybe clean it. I don't need to make any repairs to any of these parts. Because look at it. It displays fantastic. Should we restore it? Should we take it apart the best we can? It looks like... Uh, you know, there's a lot of screws and maybe some some kinds of rivets, you know? So, I don't know. I, I would say it was certainly within the, the realm of my ability to fix it, uh, you know? What do you guys think? I'd love to hear in the comments down below if you think I should try to restore this um, to its full operational glory or at least as close as I can get. Um, you know, put it in the comments. Tell me what you think I should do with this, or should I just clean it and leave it as it is, as a wonderful display piece? Because let's be honest, I'm not gonna go out and go and play with this thing. I can, I can maybe, maybe that's your opinion. Maybe I should just do a light clean and tighten. Maybe I should do a light clean and tighten and just kind of try to lock this back up, okay? Tell me what you think, and then we'll make a decision on what we're going to do f going forward. But uh, if we do a restoration, you're certainly going to see this toy again. Uh, again, this is the Johnny 7 one-man army. It has seven functions. It is just a fantastic toy. Any boy would love this thing. Uh, let's see here. 1964. Deluxe Reading Corporation... Elizabethport, New Jersey. De Who would have thought Deluxe Reading Corporation? That seems odd. Fantastic toy, and I love it, and I hope you love this video. If you did, please give it a giant thumbs up, click subscribe, and don't forget to rocket launch the notification bell so you never miss one of my toy first looks. If you have any questions or comments, especially comments, I'd love to hear what you think we should do going forward. Please, as always, leave them down below. I love to talk with you guys. All right, that's going to do it for today. I'm going to pick up my one-man army and give the living room back to the dogs. Until next time, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying, be good.